you might start seeing the light on this in so much that, well, if we can create curves and if we can make stuff follow curves, what about the camera? And that's what I'm going to demonstrate next. We'll create the scene very quickly, and it's a scene that I create a lot just for test purposes and for demonstration purposes. Click on a cube, drag this up into the upper left-hand corner. We'll color this red, sphere, kind of tying it all together at this part of the demo. Green, cone, move around a little bit so we can access that helper. I'll make this blue. Give this some laser attributes. Come over here into the laser. Say we want to see all the object edges in the sphere, but not quite so much flicker. Okay. Cone. We like contour lines on the cone, but not quite so many. Cut down on the flicker. So here's our little scene, our little 3D scene, three objects. In the top view, what I'm going to do is zoom out. Remember, you click and drag this. Now zoom out so that I can create a kind of a big path around here. Come over here to curves, click empty curve, which is really a curve that allows me to put points into it. And then just start clicking down to create this path. Like that. Now something about the curve that I'll show you. It's created the curve right here on the flat plane, basically at zero elevation. If I click on the Move tool now, this is actually a really special mode because if I start moving things, what it's actually going to move at the points on the curve doesn't move the whole curve itself. That's where some of these buttons up here come in handy. This top button here says it's object mode. In this mode, when I'm in the move button, I'm going to move the whole curve upward and downward. But if you have a curve selected and you're over into this next move called points mode, now what you could do is you can click on individual points on the curve and move those individual points. What I find handy there's a button over here called select. When you click on select, it kind of moves everything out of your way and you can very clearly see the points. You can see them much more clearly than you could if you're in move mode. So a lot of times what I'll do is bounce back and forth between select mode and move mode to create the shape of this curve. So just as we did, when we were creating and moving objects around on this curve, what we'll do, this time we want to move the camera around. So I'm going to select the camera, click Modifier, Constraint, Curve Align, click on the Curve Align modifier, and in this case, once again, a very simple scene, the only curve in the whole scene will show up here. And we click on that, and now when we move around, one of the things you'll see, for sure, there's our little camera icon. As I move around, the camera for sure is definitely moving around on our curve. The problem is, the camera is always looking in the same direction, of the time not looking in a particularly useful direction. So what we could do is what we did with the objects. We can say, we want the camera's orientation to be adjusted. And now, by clicking this box, watch what happens. It's not quite what we wanted. The camera is kind of riding sideways on the curve. 
it's doing something kind of useful, but maybe not quite what we wanted. So that's where some of these other options come in. We want to orient the camera along the z-axis of the curve so that the camera is going to be looking here. And we need to be doing actually one more thing, which is if you notice here, the scene is actually sideways. So we can correct the roll angle with this here, which as you see is twisting the camera around. So that as we're moving along this curve, we're actually able to see something. Now the problem is that there's only one area of the curve that we created that shows us something that's interesting. And even that, what we'd have to do is actually elevate the whole curve, perhaps. Go into object mode to elevate the whole curve. Move the curve upward. And we start to see something kind of interesting. But not quite what we were after. Well, if you go through here and come in here into points mode on the curve and start dragging points around and, and you could possibly create a kind of a roller coaster type curve that that would show these objects but that takes a lot of patience so what might be even more useful for a camera is to have it look at a target so i'm going to turn off this adjust orientation and i'm going to add one more modifier to the camera add something called object direction, which is also called target. And you see that there's a little kind of target icon. If you click on this modifier now, now you can tell the camera what to look at. And let's say we always want the camera to look at the cone. So now, as the camera moves around on the curve, the camera is always going to be looking at the cone, which is pretty cool. At least we're seeing something consistent now in the view. And now if we move our curve upward, remember we go back into object mode, click on the curve on the move tool and move that curve upward. We can now come back here to the curve line. Here's the position on the curve. And now we can kind of be like Superman flying over that scene. So once again, what we're going to do here, at time one, we will add a keyframe there. At time 100, we will go to the end of the curve, add keyframe. So this is what we're going to do. We will press play just to see what that looks like. And now you can see that we've got this curve. We're kind of flying around there. We could make the curve more interesting if we wanted to, up and down and so forth, but at least we're kind of illustrating a concept here. We're animating the position on the curve over time with keyframes. We created our own curve. We can edit the curve. We have the camera aligned to the curve, which makes the camera's position aligned to the curve. And we have the camera always looking at, always targeting some particular object. Now, there are other things, and once again, what we'll do is we'll say, we render it. And one of the things that you might notice is for a brief instant, the curve itself it's actually visible on the laser, which we don't necessarily want. Click on the curve, say not visible in the renderer. Go ahead and render that. Say send it to beyond. And there's the scene that we created. Now how you control the speed of the scene is in the Q properties. Right click on the Q, choose Q properties. Playback 
is what you want, the playback tab. And what we have is a time-based animation that displays, in this case, over three seconds. And we can say we want that to display over six seconds. Now it's moving slower. We can say we want that to display over 10 seconds. Now it's even slower. Or we could say we want that to display over two seconds, in which case it would be pretty fast. So that's really how you control the speed of the playback.